Robot bodies too far? Chinese car manufacturer Xpeng has just shown off the latest version of its robot, Iron. The so-called bionic muscles are claimed to make this the most powerful robot being developed, and is stated to be powered by a solid-state battery, which has the potential to hold higher energy density, allow faster charging, have a longer lifespan, and improved safety. The robot is also claiming that it might be the smartest available, integrating three large AI models for interacting with humans and understanding its environment. But here's where it gets really strange. The robots have bizarrely anthropomorphized body designs, coming in both male and female models. The robots seem to also try to replicate the walking gaits of men and women. In addition, the robot comes with a soft fabric skin and touch sensors to encourage physical interactions. Drawing from their experience selling cars, Xpeng claim that differentiating body type will allow the buyer to have more options for how they want their robot to look, even going so far as to suggest that you can clothe and accessorize your robot. Not only does this push the robot more into the uncanny valley, but is bound to draw in criticisms about purchasing objects which look to capitalize on body type. It's all a little uncomfortable. Anyway, what do you think? Is this a step in the right direction for robots or a step back for mankind?